And Theophilus was with us. You know Theophilus Sunday? He was with us. He ministered with us. And he went before we left Ghana. The moment he got back, got into his car and was driving, he slept off. My, in my deployment, I was deployed to a place where you had to be a real follower of Jesus in order for you to continue in ministry. There are places that you can go to and you can, you can be fake and still get by. And a few people still want to hear what you're saying. But I was deployed to a place where you had to be a raging flame, a raging flame. I remember I went to preach in a place close to Abuja called Guabalada in uh, Nigeria. And when I got there, I never knew that place was so infested with witchcraft. And as I was praying for people that were being delivered, these witches went to my, my house in Makodi and stabbed my wife. Yeah. She fought with the beast, fought with the beast, fought with the beast, and the battle was inconclusive. 30 minutes after that fight, she called me and said, I had a fight. I was praying, praying, fasting, praying, 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 and a woman came out of the wall and said, you can't do this here. You can't do this here. And, and he now told my wife, these are the wishes of so, so, and so. He called the woman's name, and he went back into the wall again. It was after that episode, my wife went to sleep, and she fought a beast with four horns. She removed three of the horns, and before she could remove the fourth horn, she woke up, so it was inconclusive. Thirty minutes after that encounter, then I had two children. I, I felt it was enough. She said, we need one more, according to the Lord. I said, I've not seen it. <laughs> not seen that one. I've seen two. Then some senior men of God in Nigeria began to call me and say, hey, you are not designed by God to have two children. And I'm talking about people that you need to have a good reason to say no to, to them. So we now said, all right, after eight years of concluding the issue of children, we were open to welcoming a new child. And she was pregnant. 30 minutes after the fight, she had a miscarriage. And I was still on the field of crusade. You drive your car, you are driving well, you just drive, then, then a car with a container misses you inches, just inches. Is it English you will speak under such circumstances? You must have seen my car on Facebook, how a, a tanker having 40 liters, 40,000 liters of petrol, the brake failed, he used my car as wage. My daughter was there, my wife was there, Philip was there, we were five in the car, plus, yeah, plus my daughter, six. How that car, how did the truck did not run over us it was because we had luggage at the back. He couldn't press it. The luggage was the wage that kept it. That is the, the, the explanation of what happened from the perspective of physics. The angelic perspective is another thing altogether. I left that accident. We just got one car paid and it took us. That's my trip to this London. To London. That's how I came to London. My car was bashed. We were in the police station. The people lied for how many days? And then they eventually said, don't take us to court. The brake failed. We were even we were surprised that the car did not run over them. Came to London, prayed for seven hours. In the seventh hour, I felt that the, the battle had not yet ended. See? Called my wife. I said, "Are you okay?" She said, right. "Called everybody. Said, you are okay." I'm okay. Called some of the pastors. Are you, are you fine? Hmm? One hour later, they say my daughter was diagnosed of uh, 
of appendicitis that they need to operate now. Hallelujah. That's the life I've lived till today. You can't afford to live without burning. You will die in your sleep. Where's my man on the keyboard? Are you the one yesterday? Okay, you want to? (laughs) John the Baptist was a burning light. A burning light. A burning light. We went to Ghana, and, and after, when we were done with Ghana, we struck something. And I fear demons were looking for us to strike. So the Lord came and gave us a prescription. Do this. So we did it. They couldn't find us. Couldn't find us. And Theophilus was with us. You know Theophilus Sunday? He was with us. He ministered with us. And he went before we left Ghana. The moment he got back, got into his car and was driving, he slept off. And a, a trailer ran over him. By the time they brought him out on the stretcher, blood was coming out of his mouth. We started praying. Started praying. Started praying. Started praying. And God assured us that he will leave. Do you still have fire? Because what we're talking about here can only be by fire. 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 So before I woke up this morning to come out, I had submitted myself on that altar. That the meaning of my life is that I live to serve your way. That is what is required for fire. 